What's up guys, Al here from AM Training. So today I'm gonna go ahead and review Weiru's Warrior weightlifting shoes. And these are Olympic weightlifting shoes that Johnny Candido has recommended in, on his channel. He also recommends along with these, the Nike Romalios and also the Adidas Adi Powers. So, so one of the benefits of having the Oli shoes or you know any weightlifting shoe is that it has a heel that is raised. And as you can see, it gradually raises from the front going on to the back. And of course, with this raise, it helps the, the heel gets um, elevated and it helps with mobility and the depth when you're in that squat. And it allows you to stay a little bit more upright, which is crucial for Olympic lift, uh, lifts such as, you know, uh, the, the snatch and the clean. And also it's crucial for other lifts too, like the front squat. Um, and depending on your type of squatting style, this is also going to help you out, which it help, helped me out quite uh, big because I tend to squat in Olympic lifting stance even though I'm tra training for powerlifting. And as you can see in the back and all its lovely back curves, it has a standard 0.75 inch or 3 fourths of an inch lift that a lot of Olympic uh, shoes have like the Audi Power and also the Romalios. So let's talk about some other specs of the Weiru Warrior shoes. These shoes are made of ox leather and also moving on to the heart and sole of the shoe, the sole. Do you, do you see what I did there? The sole of it is actually made of compressed rubber. And the reason why you want a stiff shoe is because you don't want any force to be lost during the transfer of, uh, of a squat or you know you want to apply as much pressure to the floor as you can and you don't want any energy leakage because then that is weight taken off of the bar. And the problem with most athletic shoes is that they have a soft or squishy sole that leaks power at because it absorbs the force and that's not something you want to do when you're trying to move big weights. You want all the force you apply to the floor to apply to the bar. And it's like playing billiards with a limp rope or, or I can name other activities that don't go well when things go limp if you know what I mean. And taking a look at the bottom of the shoe, as you can see it's a very flat shoe relative to other shoes, which is great because it helps grip the floor and I personally noticed that I spend less time fidgeting around and trying to find the placement of my feet when I'm trying to get into a squat, which is great because when you are you know, about to max out on your squats, you don't want to fidget around with heavy weight on your back because that's energy that could have been uh, you know, applied to your 400 pound plus uh, squat there. Taking a look at the front of the Warriors, you can see the nice long strap, which for me, I believe that this shoe is going to fit better for someone with a more wider or fatter foot because I, when I strap up and I strap it pretty tight, it's almost like the strap touches the floor. And with my skinny feet, it also makes it a little harder to make it tighter because the space between the laces are pretty close to touching and I can't get a secure fit as much as I would like to. So I feel like these are almost the cheaper versions of the Nike Romalios because they have a wider base and the, I know the Adidas the Adidas Audi Power have a more narrow base. And because of the wider base on these shoes, I feel like people with a fatter foot or a foot with more girth would fit better into them. And to give you a frame of reference and another thing to fantasize about, winky winky smiley face, my foot width is 4.5 and that's going across, that's measured from across the widest part of my foot which usually tends to be where people usually get bunions, kind of near the, the big toe and the pinky toe. And if you want the girth, you're going to have to PM me for that. Winky, winky, smiley face. Okay, so let's talk about the flexibility of the shoe. As you can see here, I'm trying to flex the toe box. And the toe box is not as flexible as, you know, uh, Adidas Audi Power. They are a little bit more stiffer. When I flex them, the whole shoe kind of moves. And that's due to, you know, the leather, the, the ox leather I was talking about before. So I wouldn't recommend these shoes to you know, do CrossFit in because they're going to be a little bit on the stiffer side and actually they're pretty darn heavy too. They're a total of about three pounds for all for the pair. So you're pretty much lugging around 1.5 pounds for each foot and that's pretty heavy for a, a, a shoe if you ask me. So these are going to be ideally for, you know, weightlifting and uh, powerlifting and that's basically what I use them for. Um, they don't feel too awkward walking around in them, but I couldn't imagine, you know, doing any sprints or, or running in them. 
All right, so let's move on to the sizing. On maxbarbell.com is where I got the shoes. They tell you to measure the very back of your heel to the very tip of your toes while standing on a piece of paper so you could get the pressure and get a uh, accurate reading of how long your foot is um, to measure it from there. And like I said, measure it all the way to the tip of your toe, whichever is gonna be the longest one. It could be your big toe like me, or you could be kind of a genetic freak that has a pinky toe that's really out there. But moving on, so my foot measured out to have a length of 11 inches to give you a frame of reference and also to give you something to daydream and admire. Winky winky smiley face. And Max Barbell recommends adding 0.8 inches to your, uh, to your measurement and that actually gave me a shoe size of 11 inches. They'll do that all for you on a chart for you in their website. But basically they add, uh, they, they recommend adding 0.8 inches to your shoe size and that gave me 11 a shoe size of 11 in US and I actually opted out to get a little bit tighter and I went with a 0.6 uh, inch of addition to my foot size which gave me a 10.5 uh, or 10 and a half shoe size in, in US and I'm extremely happy that I did that because even though it's they recommend slightly bigger my shoes still feel, felt a little bit bigger and I'm I could have went actually with a 0.4 um, because I still say that they're a little bit bigger so I'm really glad that I didn't uh, opt out for what they recommended and personally I think I could have just added 0.4 inches into my length and that would have automatically uh, given me this shoe size of 10 so to sum it all up would I recommend them Everyone that has subscribed to me knows that I'm a cheap bastard and will only spend money on the essentials. With that being said, hell yeah I would recommend them. They cost me $69 plus shipping and you know tax. That came out to be about $75 and I am very pleased. I can see why Johnny Candido recommended these because they are... They're, they're gonna last for a while. They can, they, I can see that they have a nice little longevity to them. And I'm the type of person that will research everything I can about a shoe before, uh, you know, I end up buying it. I gotta check out all the competitors of that shoe before I buy it. And that's not even on lifting shoes. That's just on casual non-lifting shoes. Like, just something I want to walk around in. I still am gonna be the type of person that will do research and want to see what the best price is. And also, you know, all the pros and cons to everything. Not to mention that the color on this is fairly neutral. It's going to be pretty nice. It has that white and black trim that won't, you know, won't attract too much unwanted attention like, you know, other said clown shoes like the Adi, Adidas Adi Power. No offense, guys, to anyone who is watching this who has Adi Powers, but they're pretty damn bright. And so if, if your goal is to peacock in the gym and have bright colors on, this is not the shoe for you. You want performance, then go ahead and buy the shoe because I recommend them. Especially you want to go ahead and try to look for if they are available and see if they even are in stock because they sell out pretty fast. I actually had to wait a good maybe six, seven months before my size got in stock. Unless you have a size 5 or 14 size foot then you're in luck because they are probably in stock all year round anyways thanks for watching my review train hard train smart guys